For years, my clients and colleagues have said to me that they just need a Rosie in their pocket. What they mean by that is reminders to bring them back to tools and resources that can help them be better in the moment, and a voice that challenges their thinking and encourages them to live their best and most fulfilled life. I always took it as a compliment and had a good chuckle about it. And after so much feedback and prompting, I have decided to bring Rosie in my pocket to life. Small doses of learning and inspiration to guide you through this journey of life. Here's the teaching and inspiration that I want to share with you today. Have you ever been seeking out or craving feedback and wanting to grow, wanting to get better at something, but feeling like what you're getting back from other people is quite frankly lackluster or not even helpful at all. This is really common. And even if we truly love getting feedback and really are open to receiving it, so many people are not comfortable giving it for a variety of reasons. They don't want to hurt your feelings. They don't want to look judgmental, whatever it might be. And one way that we can make it safer for people to give us feedback and we can get what we're needing to grow and improve is Making a slight shift that I learned from Adam Grant that is small but super, super impactful. And rather than asking people for feedback, which is asking them to look backwards and perhaps judging our performance or our actions, ask people for advice. Most people love giving advice anyway, whether we ask for it or not. So instead of saying, hey, what did, how did I do on that? Or how could I have done that differently? Say, can I get your advice on something? How can I improve upon this next time? How can I do this even more effectively next time? So it's future focused and you're asking people for advice rather than asking for feedback. You'd be really surprised at how much more open they might be and the richness of the feedback and advice you actually get from them. So my invitation and my challenge for you this week is to find those opportunities where you can ask people who you trust and care about you for advice on how you can grow, how you can improve instead of asking for feedback and notice what opens up as a result. I would love to hear what does. And remember, as you're seeking advice, as you're seeking feedback, use it to make more of your sparkle shine. I'm so grateful to be on your leadership journey with you. And even though I'm not physically in your pocket, I certainly cherish the opportunity to share my heart and learnings to help you. If this message inspired you today, I'd love to hear from you or gift me a review on Apple Podcasts. Be well, my friends, and now go add a little sparkle to your day.